Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Um, what we're going to be talking about right now are a few things that um, I feel are really, really important that you guys need to keep your head on a swivel for, okay? Uh, know your surroundings, okay? Especially with what has gone on in Kentucky, okay? Um, a community member who lives in that area, she wrote in. And you know this guy, uh, Joe Couch, has not been caught yet, okay? Um, so she sent in a few emails, and I want to read them to you, okay? She said, I'm using they, them instead of him, her, so no one knows if they're male, female to protect their identity. Okay, that's fine. You know, hey, listen, you know, you don't want anybody to get offended, you know? She said, plus, I forgot to include, we've had 15 Black Hawks go over our house and three of the large military planes in the last two weeks. Oh, dear God, really? Okay. She said he was wearing neon yellow shirt with green stains like a mechanic would have jeans. I carry as well. I was about 50 feet from him. No, shut the front door. Girl, what? And was very loud to make a scene to trigger cameras, etc. Because at Walmart, if a large scene is made, cameras capture it. My whole family works different times in different areas, so I stay at home. I'm a stay at home wife. <sighs> I talked to a friend recently, and oh my god, girl, just please. She said, we live about 80 to 90 miles from a military base. Um, <sighs> I'm really worried about you. I know you live close to a military base and all, but still. She said, as of 20 minutes ago, um, they still have not have caught Joseph Couch. All business, restaurants, etc. in the area are not allowing entries for customers for the safety of the employees. They're keeping the doors locked. Well, you know what? Safety first. You know what I mean? And I don't blame them at all whatsoever. Um, if I was a small business owner, I would be doing the same. You know, she said schools in several areas around the area are closed from nine to nine for safety of everyone in that area according to what they're saying he's retired military yeah i heard that and was in the same unit as jd Va no jd vance serious she said i don't know if it's true but if it is then might be a reason they pulled his they pull his vp shit Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Um, I'm very, I'm worried. Okay. I'm worried about you. Um, I want you to just keep in touch with me. Okay. Keep emailing me. I don't care what you do. Just keep in touch with me. Okay. I know that, I mean, you were 50 feet away from him. Girl, no. Okay, you run. Okay, if you ever see him again, I mean, see something, say something. You know this. Damn it. Did you not realize until like after the fact or something? All right. Um, so here's something that a community member she wrote in. And something that she has she has concerns about. Okay. And she said, uh, she said, I need to share this with you. This happened at my home. I've noticed a couple times that the street that is across from my driveway, a person sits there and stares at my yard. Okay. You know, you know the rules. Head on a swivel, know your surroundings. Okay. See something, say something. Okay. And I know I keep saying that. But ladies and gentlemen, with the world that we live in, with the society that we have to deal with every single day okay no harm no foul okay if you are uncomfortable okay i don't care if you are labeled as a cop caller if you are home by yourself ladies 
even guys, I don't care. And you know that you might, your life might be in danger. You call and you call now. Okay. She said, I have seen it happen in the day, but also at night. It's rather freaky. And I try to ignore the person because I want to see what they do or not do. I live in a large mobile home by myself. My husband walked out in 2011. Oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. She said a lot has happened in the years between then and now, but I eventually, I did forgive him. Well, you know what? That's the Christian thing to do. You forgive, you forget, you move on. Okay. You, you won your battle with cancer. That's what matters. You are here. You're here with me. And that's what matters. And I love you. She said, not because I felt he deserved it, but because God said we need to do that. That's right. That's right. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. You know? He was also involved with another. Well, you know what? Let him, let her have him and all the baggage and BS that goes along with him. You know? She said, anyway, that's another story. I'm just stressed as so many are. I found out that one of my close friends back in mass did not get a good outcome with therapy for melanoma. Well, she said it spread to her brain and to her lungs. Oh, God. Another friend of mine is an assistant living with hospice and having some end of life symptoms. Yeah. They're, oh, they're in their 80s. Well, sweetheart, you know what? They led the good life. And that's how you have to look at things. She said, but why both at the same time? And to top it off, my cat Pippi, who was 12, went for his yearly exam and vaccine. He has a mass in his abdomen and it's large. I felt it. It's in the office. But he's a cat who does not like being picked up. And I called him Asper my Asperger's kitty. And he's really smart, but very fussy on stuff. Jumpy anyway. This was like three weeks ago when I got the news doing testing it would be so stressful for him. Sometimes when they're up in age, it's just best to just let them let them live out their lives. You know, as, as long as they're not in pain and they're not suffering, just, you know, let them. I, I had to do the same. You guys know I have I have elder cats and stuff like that. My my oldest cat is 18 years old. Thank God she still got it. I mean, she rat races around here like no tomorrow. But still, when it's her time to go, I am not going to try to extend her life because it's not fair to her. She's already 18 years old. You know what I mean? If she's still rat racing around, she's still eating like a pig and, and you know what I mean? And enjoying her treats and stuff like that. I'm going to let her go do what she wants to do, you know? So she said he snaps for apparently no reason. Well, you know what? Sometimes they say that animals, they will do that. They will snap for no reason. But that's if they have any discomfort, you know. Um, hmm. But just know that everything is going to be okay. I'm not going to read your entire email to the world, okay? Because that's just, it wouldn't be fair. Um, but I did read it, okay? And just know that everything's going to be fine. I promise. So here is um, a picture that was sent to by a community member. And I'm going to read it to you. Okay. And then I'll, I'll post it while I'm reading it. It says, this is not a post to discuss uh, gun rights and politics. This is a group alert. Political comments will be removed. As many of you know. Um, okay. This is about... Um, Joseph Couch, okay, uh, about the random shots passing on cars on I-75 near exit 49 in Livingston, Laurel County, Saturday evening. At this time, the shooter is still at large, should be considered armed and dangerous. Uh, Joseph Couch is a suspect. The area in which the shooting happened is part of the Sheltoe Trace National Recreation Trail, and the search area for the suspect includes a large area of Sheltoe, which nearby is 
Wildcat Off-Road Park and Camp Wildcat National Battlefield. This area is loaded with rock shelters, arches, and caves, and is very remote and rugged. The suspect is believed to possess the survival skills for this type of landscape. Yes, I believe he is retired army. That's what I that's what I heard. He's retired army. Uh, there are plenty of places for him to survive undetected for months. As a suggestion, is recommended to avoid hiking in Sheltoe at least between uh, Kentucky 80, Hell Rogers Parkway in Laurel County, and the intersection of Kentucky 490 and 89 in Rockcastle County at Laurel County's northern border until the situation is resolved. This is so hikers and adventurers can avoid the suspect and to allow search crews to do their thing when the suspect is apprehended. I will update at that time and I will also update at that time as well. Okay, so here's something coming at you, coming at you from a community member. And he said, remember the quakes for the associated CME? Generally, they are three days after impact of the CME energy impact. Take a look at the attached photo video loop, right? You'll see it. From the Weather, weather Prediction Center, you'll see that the impact will be on 9-11. If you know your Bible and your timelines... You may know the importance of this date. The quake day, 914, is also a biblical date. This should be exciting to see how this all plans out. With the high temperature and the quakes, it reminds me of the old commercial, Mama made shake and bake and I helped. So here's something to really be concerned about and a community member is mad as hell. She said, if this doesn't pe piss people off, something is seriously wrong with them, as always. Love to you and yours. And it is non-citizen voter registration application, control of its government, and part of foreign nationals. Damn it. So here's a funny picture coming at you, coming at you from a community member. And I absolutely think this is hysterical. Take a look. <laughs> so you guys know I always put some really good uh, links in the description box below. So here's one for you that has to go along with a video that I did the other day. And in the picture for the thumbnail, I put skullduggery. Um, this community member, she left me a link uh, about powerful members of the skull and bones she said bush jr and senior were in the skull and bones so are rockefellers taft and kerry yes those are the well-knowns yes so there's going to be another link in the, in the dis description box so this community member says me of today's uh videos reminded me of someone i wanted to tell you about from ages ago her name is charlotte uh, she was in the know. I don't know if you've heard of her. I learned of her years ago. Here's a link to some videos. Her father was in the S and B group, like the Bush family member. Anyway, I just wanted to pass this along for anyone who hasn't heard of her. She also has a website called Dumbing Down America. Just type in her name for uh, for lots of links and info. She died in February 2022 at the age of 91. Oh God bless her. So here's another link for you. Uh, Indian migrants fuel surge in northern U.S. Canada border crossings. Ugh. When are we going to catch a break, y'all? I'm serious. This is, I mean. We have. 55 days, 54 days into this election. And it's all going to depend on who gets in. On what we're going to actually see on November 6th. We actually have a bet going on in this house. Are we going to see another plan 
like with more shut-ins and force of you know what's or are we going to see a civil or a ww3 you know there's actually debate that goes on in this house all the time because if he gets in Another plan with shut-ins and forced mandates. If she gets in, either a civil or WW3. That's the debate. What say you? Oh, good Lord. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this uh, can barely read it because the, 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 the words are so small. Uh, and I'm blind as a bat. Um, and it says, if these save lives, I have 40 questions for you. So if you want to pause and read and answer these questions, have at it. Name five ingredients. I can't. What is MRC5? What is WI38? What is... This court, what is the national V injury compensation program? What is the 1986 National Childhood Injury Act? How has the CDC schedule changed since 1986? How much money has been paid out by the injury court? How many dose, doses of how many are in the CDC schedule since between birth and age 16, 70 in the U.S. Get the fuck out of here. Do they contain aborted issue? I hope not. That's disgusting. Do they contain dog, monkey, pig, and human DNA? What the fuck? What is an adjuvant? What is an antigen? What which arm of the immune system do they stimulate? Which arms of the immune system do natural diseases stimulate? What is the transverse myelitis? What is... Yeah, I can see that. My, uh, my eyes are going crossed. What is the rate of autism in 2017? What was it in 2000? What was it in 1990? I have no idea. What is gly glyphosate? What is it in the... Is your child injured? Who would take physical, emotional, and financial responsibility? Holy smokes! I can't read. The, 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 the writing is so small, my eyes are going, oh! Yeah, so if you want to pause and read, go right ahead. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless. Ciao.